Hi, Aries, Travis Ian here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did a quest for Seawolf McKinley. Pretty cool, we got a buff there like that. And we did a quest called Cracking Mori's Foot. And supposedly in that quest, his Seawolf McKinley's friend named Mori went out, and he did some gambling with the Moshog Ogres, and it didn't go too well. I think he uh, eventually got beat up. And they took his key. So Seawolf McKinley wanted us to get it back. And that is what we did for him. But today, we are going to make our way back to Calum Door. First, we're going to have a little chat with Hi, Whiskey Slim. Let's check out this quest called Whiskey Slim's Lost Grog. He was splicing the main brace something fierce off of the Overlook Cliffs old hinterlands just in the distance. Thought the seas was going to swallow us whole. Old Slim... Knows all about liquid courage. Cap'n had a crate of puppily verbose port. We commandeered from a privateer en route to Stormwind. So when the storm off of the hinterlands hit, I busted into the grog. Big wave hit and tossed them bottles overboard. Cap'n is going to give me a taste. Oh, that cat. If he don't help me get him back though that was a tough read guys but yeah whiskey slim he's got he's got some slang to him so pretty much whiskey slim wants us to uh bring him the bottles of puppily verbose that a puppily verbose port that he lost and he we will get some rumsy rum if we do that and this uh this rum gets us a little tipsy and also gives us 10 stamina for 15 minutes Be seeing you. pretty good buff right there we all know Flag Carrier likes his rum. Talk to me. Let's have a little chat with Crank Fizzlebub. Zanzel's Mixture and a Fool's Stout. I figured out how to use Zanzel's Mixture with Stout to make a powerful libation. A Fool's Stout. I think it'll be just what Cravel needs, but try it out and let me know how it works. And Flag Carrier, don't keep this stuff too long without using it. Zanzel's Mixture has a weird effect on the Stout's yeast, kicking it into high gear. So it won't stay fresh forever. Bring the fool stout back to Cravel in the Shimmering Flats. Well, looks like we might have to go to the Shimmering Flats today, guys. And do the Zanzel's Mixture in a fool stout. But before we do that, we are clear, for sure going to go to... Uh, we're going to stop, make a stop off at good old Thunderbuff. And we are going to... Spend a little bit of gold and get some new abilities for Flag Carrier. It's going to be the plan. It's nice that the boat is just pulling up right now. So we're just in time to catch the boat to go to Ratchet. Let's pull on up here. Hopefully, uh, last time we took this boat, I think we got slain. I think a rogue, like, attacked us on the way to Ratchet. So we got to keep our head up here. Make sure we uh, don't get attacked this time. Or watch out from getting attacked. And today is the official day. AQ-40 has been defeated. The gates have been opened. On servers all across the world. Except for mine. Carolina, we have not opened up the gates yet. We are still contributing to the war effort. And there's been some... Guild politics and stuff going on. A little Scarab Lord drama. Which is the reason why I believe Fairlina doesn't have it opened yet. But that's okay. Gives us time to eventually go to Silithus and maybe catch the gate opening. But AQ has been defeated. And I believe it was defeated by a Chinese guild. I believe the Chinese servers were the first ones to open the gates. And... I believe a Chinese guild was the first one to clear it. So they got world first. And I believe uh, Europe will be doing it tonight. Or are they, they're already done. Yeah, they're probably already done. I haven't checked out Europe. But I know China is uh, is done. U.S. is probably going to be probably done too.
Have you run out of ships to send? Where's your courage? We're heading back to Ratchet. But yeah, AQ-40 doesn't look like too tough of a raid. It was done in one night, so... As people get gear and figure it out, I think it, uh, it will be beatable. There are some long fights, though. Looks like the Cthulhu fight takes over 10 minutes to do. That is going to be uh, a nice change. going to be interesting for a lot of classic WoW Raiders that are used to fights that are less than three minutes. Most of them are even less than one minute. So that'll be a nice, nice change of pace. Interested to see how our guild will do. I don't think we'll clear it the first raid. But, um... I'd say give us, uh... Maybe a month or two and we'll get it down. I was looking at a lot of the raid comps, too. And it looks like... A lot of guilds are not as warrior heavy or melee heavy as they once were. It looks like you're seeing a lot more mages and warlocks in the compositions, which is nice to see. It's more of a balanced raid instead of just a raid full of warriors, like we've seen in Colton Core and Blackwing Lair. Alright, well we made it to Ratchet, and now we are going to get on one of these flights here. What's up? We're going to make our way to Thunder Bluff. Right back. And then when we get to Thunder Bluff, we will go to the Elder Rise. Get some new abilities. And then from there, we will take a flight down to Tanaris, Free Wind Post. And then we'll have a little chat with Cravel in the Shimmering Flats. So we have a lot to do today. It's not too bad. Should be decent. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Seems like we're seeing a lot more ranged classes. More balanced raid comp. Which is nice to see, especially for our guild. Our guild is actually, uh, I think, more ranged heavy. So, that helps us out a lot. I think we'll do alright. I'll try to get, like, a video, at least, of our Cthune, our first Cthune kill for sure. Oh, well, we're flying in here, making our way to Mulgore. Hopefully I can buy a decent amount of abilities. We only have 12 gold, which is kind of a shame. I might try to sell this mace. Might put some stuff on the auction house while we're there. And I might, uh, I'm also going to pick, it's actually good we're going to Thunder Bluff, because I need to pick up, get rid of this. We need to pick up some, uh... Cadgar's Whiskers from the bank because we can't um, create the greater he superior healing potions. We don't have any Cadgar's Whiskers. We only have 12 sun grass left, so I want to make sure we can make some of these, so gotta make sure I have some Cadgar's Whiskers on us at all times. Because it's tough when you, uh, you know, you're in a fight and you only get to use these greater healing potions. We've been fighting a lot of elites lately. I think the last couple of quests we've just been fighting elites. So the quests are starting to get pretty tough. There's another druid right there leveling up. Level 20 in the barons. I remember those days. That was like in 2019. We were in the barons. Those were good times. But now we're Growing up, you know, we're almost there. We're almost at 60. We've got our last nine levels to go. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot about the lore, especially on the Horde side. I'm interested in trying out the Alliance eventually. I don't know if I want to take on uh, an Alliance Let's Play yet, but 
in the future I, I, I am interested in doing one that's for sure try to make put like a twist on it too maybe to make it more fun I like doing that you know like try to put like a two I like to, to make rules you know like or guide like on the challenge kind of like what I did here where I can't group up or you know or I can't like do spam dungeons and all that stuff I think I could add some more stuff to uh, to spice it up a little bit. If I was to do it again, I would allow myself to do at least one dungeon. I should have to do every dungeon at least once, I would say. That's one thing I would do. I also really like these Iron Man... Um, this Iron Man community that's going on. That Cargos is uh, doing on his YouTube channel. It's really cool. I think I would do all right. I do okay in Iron Man. I don't know. I died last episode, so <laughs> it'd be tough. I'm telling you, it, it would be tough. Anybody who hit 60 in Iron Man, it's pretty awesome because you can't use the auction house to make gold. Like I'm using the auction house to get gear and gold. If I didn't have the auction house, guys, like it'd be rough. It would be really rough. That's one rule I could have put. I'll probably put on myself. Yeah, no, like no auction house. Really, it makes it really hardcore when you can't use the auction house. Like I made so much gold from the auction house selling herbs. That's how I got my mount. All right, well, this is a uh, goblin nutcracker of the monkey. Let's see how much this sells for. It sells for a buck thirty-eight. I don't know if this will even sell. It's a level thirty-eight mace. I'll throw it up for like. I don't know. Three gold? We'll see if it sells. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. No big deal. And... The rest of the stuff we'll just get rid of. Got some stuff to actually sell. I want to try to well, sell as much stuff as I can. Before we... Uh, before we go and try to get some... Some new abilities... We have 14 gold right now. That should be enough for us to upgrade a, a decent amount of stuff. I'm going to check uh, the bank in the mailbox here. So I know I have a weapon. I should have a weapon in the mailbox. Yep, there it is. That's a weapon we purchased. Waiting for level 53 to use it. It's much better than the weapon we have. A lot more stam, strength. Spirit's nice too, since we're a druid. can get that mana regen. And the health regen. Well met. And now let's uh, we'll pick up some Cadgar's Whiskers. We only need like a stack of 20. Anything else that I want to put in there? Probably put in the silk cloth. I guess we'll put in this this bag. We don't want to carry on to that. And everything else we'll just, I guess we'll keep. I want to keep these torn notes because uh, it's going to give me a clue for a quest. Don't really see anything else that I want to get rid of. Everything else I should probably keep. Yeah, I don't think I have much else that I want to add. So, that's about it. So, we got a bit of, ge bit of gold. Which is good. Make sure I can buff myself up here. And let's... Hey, I forgot change the key, key bind on my Kodo. Just trying to mount up there. I made the, the, my old Kodo key bind, Lifestone. Which is a great drink. It, it's pretty much like having a potion on you at all times. And also heals you for 10 health every 5 seconds. Nice hot. Let's make our way over to the Elder Rise. Get back on our Kodo. Hoping we can per we're gonna be really broke after this, guys. Like fourteen gold in new abilities and ability upgrades goes fast. I will not be surprised if we're broke at the end of this. But let's see what we got. What brings you here? I seek further druidic training. 
to have a closer understanding of the Earth Mother's will. Okay. So let's check this out. I don't want to upgrade Wrath or Starfire. I don't really use Wrath. I could use Wrath more. Like I could Moonfire Wrath, but... I, I know Moonfire's worth it. Let's get that up there. I've already dumped like three gold into Moonfire now. Tangling Roots is okay. Challenging Roar, Cower. I don't really need Challenging Roar. Cower, Bash rank three. That's pretty good. Dash rank two. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of all the balance stuff for now. Frenzied Regen rank two. Yeah, that's really good. Ferocious Bite rank three. Yeah, really good. Tiger's Fury Maul. Ravage rank three. We only have five gold, guys. We're going to have to come back, man. I'm going to try to sell more stuff. We're going to come back. Juvenation rank 8. Yeah, there's so much stuff I want to get. Claw. Claw's pretty good. Shred. Now you shred a lot. We don't have any gold. Okay. So we're broke. See how quick we got broke? We, we still have to buy more stuff. I'm going to put a lot of herbs on the auction house right now, guys. That's my plan. And I'm going to hope all of it sells. We're going to start selling, guys. Because we want all these moves. We're level 50. We need all the moves. So I think we upgraded Rejuvenation. Did we upgrade Rejuvenation? No. We have ra Ravage Rank 3. All this stuff just instantly upgrades. All the Feral abilities. I believe that's the same for all of the... I know Moonfire does it. Moonfire uh, ranks up based on what's going on. So we got... We have it at Rank 6. Well, okay, we'll put it up to Rank 8 there. That's a huge upgrade on Moonfire. We've been using Moonfire Rank 6. And... I think that was it for balance. Claw, dash. I think dash rank 2 we could use. We have dash. Yep, dash automatically upgrades. So that's good. So let's go uh, check out our bank here. We're going to try to throw as many of these Peace, herbs on the auction house that we can. I'm going to sell all this bruise weed. I'm going to sell all this purple lotus. Mage royale. Whatever we can sell. Solid stone. The silk cloth. I don't know. That doesn't really sell that much. Grave moss we'll try to sell. We're going to sell this bag. Cadgar's whiskers will sell. The blind weed. The peace bloom. Let's just try to sell as much as we can. I'm keeping this gun. Not selling it. But yeah, we'll try to sell as much as we can. And then we'll come back and we'll try to get as many moves and abilities. But it is what it is, you know. We chose to get trinkets. We spent over 100 gold in trinkets, so. It is what it is. Plus, we bought a weapon. So we're set on gear for a while. Problem is, we sacrificed our moves, our ability upgrades. So let's see what's going on here with uh, the Cadgar's Whiskers. Looks like they're selling for 20 stacks, 11 gold. These are selling. Makes sense. I I sell a 20 stack. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a 20 stack up. I'll put a 20 stack up for 11. That's somewhat of, of, of a fair price. It's not really... It's it's okay. Okay, we'll put in, then we'll put another 11 up. Then we'll put another 20 stack up. For 11 gold. And then we'll sell 11. I think we're trying to sell it at like... Put 11 up for... Uh, put up for, I guess, 550. And what else we got? 
Hmm. So I want this stuff to sell, but I don't want it to be too cheap. Blindweed. Wow, blindweed's expensive. We got 14 blindweed. We sell it at like... Sell it for... Sell all this for eight gold. I'd say like nine gold. Sell for eight fifty. I think that's it's pretty fair. See if this sells. Hoping it does. Let's check this fourteen slot bag. Try to sell this for three ninety nine. If everything, if it, like if a lot of this sells, we're gonna get a lot of abilities, so it's worth it. What else we got? Grave moss. Let's see if this sells. Buck eighty one per grave moss. Sell it for uh sell it for I think if we sell it for four it's pretty fair. I think that'll sell. Three for four. And then we got some peace bloom. Hopefully all this stuff sells. And then we'll come back and we'll get more abilities. 2048. I guess we can sell this for, I don't know, three gold. This will probably sell for sure at three gold. Which is a stack selling at. Stack selling for 15 gold. What the heck? You guys have it up for four. I'll put it up for 350 so it sells. Kind of like squishing the market here, but someone will buy that to uh wonder if it's contribute to the war effort unless it's already been contributed to. Got some silver leaf here. This stuff never sells. I'll sell four for for 10 silver. Let me know if this will even sell. Um the bruise weed. I want to check that out. We got some more Cadgar's Whisker, actually, but we want to keep at least a stack of 20. Bruise weed. Yeah, this stuff's really cheap. Sell it for a gold. See if it sells. And this stuff we'll throw in. Let's throw this up for 15, for, for uh, 13 silver. Try to sell that quick. Looks like we're running out of stuff to sell. We got some Fade Leaf. We also have some Purple Lotus. Fade Leaf, 20 stack, 16 gold. Okay, we'll put it up for 16. 16.50, we'll see if this sells. Okay, and then we got the Purple Lotus here. No, the auction house stuff. Oh, Purple Lotus is cheap, man. You guys are selling 20 stacks for 220. Are you serious? It's a little too cheap, but whatever. We'll sell ours for 219. This will go towards the war effort. So I don't really care if it's sell. <laughs> Someone buys it, puts it towards the war effort. That's fine. 24 silver for. Oh my gosh, this is so cheap. Put this up for 10 silver. Super cheap. We just want to get rid of it. And I think that's it. We got the life root here. Try to get rid of that. Um, let's sell this for 20 silver. Hopefully it sells. And that's about it. I think that's all. Go oh, yeah. Got some solid stone. Looks like that goes. Sell this for gold. One, one gold. One gold for two solid stone. And there we go. But hopefully all this stuff sells, guys. And we make some gold, and then we'll come back here, and we'll try to buy some more, some more stuff, more abilities and stuff. Goodbye. It's kind of a shame that, uh, it's just kind of a shame, you know? 
Didn't bring enough gold to the trainer. We brought 14 gold. And it went down pretty quick. Now we're broke again. That's classic WoW for you, though, you know? You make, you have like a thousand gold, and then you spend it on a weapon or some pa a pair of pants. Or you try, or you know, or you have 10,000 gold, and you fund it all into a Thunder Fury that never drops. That's pretty much what happened to me. Let's go to Free Wind Post. So, yeah, it can all go pretty quick in the classic WoW. The gold, the gold goes quick. Still got an hour and 36 minutes on on this quest, so we got enough time. I think we're gonna make it. I think we'll I think we'll make it. And then hopefully tomorrow I have like twenty plus gold on me. And then I'm coming right back here. I'm getting more abilities. So that was a lot of abilities, guys, that we missed out on. There's like, we didn't even touch restoration. You know? It's a lot of bear abilities we're miss missing out on. And I need those. I need, to, I don't need them. But they sure do help when you're fighting, like, elites. Because I remember when we fought that, uh, that, that sea giant. Last couple episodes, that 47 Elite Sea Giant, that guy was a beast. And, uh, it was a tough fight. Now, I was fully buffed. I had, like, tons of consumes. I think that's another thing you're not allowed to use in Iron Man 2. I don't think you're allowed to use consumes. That makes it really hard. It'd be cool to do Iron Man. But... It'd be tough. It would be tough. And like, I know it's not tough to, you know, to level. Like, you can just farm mobs that are green all the way to 60. That's kind of like a cheesy way to do it. But... You get bored, right? And if you're just doing the same thing all the time. So you're gonna, you're gonna try to challenge yourself. And that's when you get caught in classic. So when you like do something challenging or risky. And then you're kind of like, you're doing well. And then next thing you know out of nowhere, you got like three mobs gunning you down. And you're just done at that point. It's like nothing you can do. It'd be tough to do Iron Man. It'd be really tough. I think I've died. I've died over ten times doing this Let's Play. I, I know I haven't died a hundred times, but I'm in the double digits. I'll tell you that much. I have a lot of PvP deaths too. I think in total, I probably I don't have over fifty. I don't think I have over fifty deaths. Maybe it's probably close to fifty. Maybe yeah. It'd be cool if I tracked the deaths. That's something I would do if I ever did it again as well. I'd probably track my deaths. Alright, well here we are in Free Wind Post. Haven't been here in a while, guys. Good old Free Wind Post. Gotta love the elevators. Those good old Torrin elevators, guys. Not getting much XP this episode. We got a lot of XP last episode. Hit level 51. So that was good. But that's just the way these turn-in quests are, guys. There's a lot of quests in Classic WoW where you're just, you know, traveling. It's just what happens sometimes. But they're good to do because a lot of them eventually like unlock like a like a quest where you get a lot of XP. Well some of them do. Some of them don't though. That's the one thing I the, the one thing I don't like about um the hardcore like Iron Man is I think they're using Questy. Which I think 
you know, if you're hardcore, like if you're trying to like make it hardcore, you probably wouldn't have Questy up. But I like the UI. The UI is awesome. But uh, not a fan of the Questy using use of Questy. I think if you're doing like a hardcore Iron Man, you shouldn't have um, an add-on telling you, you know, where to go when you're questing. You just have to like read it and just figure it out. Of course, what are we doing here? We're doing the Zanzel's Mixture Quest. We need to go meet Cravel. The dwarf in the shimmering flats. I remember him quite well. It's very quiet out here. Can't hear anything. Oh, here we go. Get in the shimmering flats. Get to hear some, you know, some nuance. It's very quiet in the Thousand Needles at nighttime. Like, it's very quiet. Come out here, at least you can hear some crickets, at least. So this is a pretty easy quest if you have um, flight points. Clearly, if you don't have the flight points, it'll take you a while. And if you don't know who Cravel Colebeard is, then, yeah, you probably wouldn't wouldn't even do this quest. <laughs> or where the Shimmering Flats is. I think you would know, because this quest is pretty high level. It's kind of... It's, it's pretty close to 50, so... You would probably know what the Shimmering Flats is by then. Depending if you quested a lot or not. So usually Cravel Colebeard likes to hang out around here. There he is. Let's have a little chat with him. Hey there. Hey, Cravel. Hello, Flag Carrier. Was Fizzlebub able to help us? Wonderful. Fizzlebub came through. I'll remember that next time I see him. And thank you, Flag Carrier. You're doing a great job, and we both stand to make a lot of money from this. Off with you. Okay. What's on your mind? The stout sure smells strong. Let's have just a small taste. Wait, what am I thinking? We have a job to do with this stuff. <laughs> Looks like Cravel Colbeard likes his brew. Talk to me. Get the gnomes drunk or get the goblins drunk. Come a little closer. We have important matters to discuss, you and I. And some of them we don't want everyone to hear. All right. Watch your back. Well, next episode, well, it looks like our life fruit sold. That's good. But I think we'll stop it here. I think next episode we might be getting some goblins or gnomes drunk. We'll see how that goes. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.